Red Line was originally built in 1969. Now, for a little context, Gail Sayers was the biggest Chicago Bears player. Richard Nixon was the president, so that tells you it's quite a while ago. When you start talking about 43 and 44 years of use, you're also talking about, over time, millions of dollars of little fixes. What's happened now is that time has caught up to the Red Line. Uh, you have slow zones throughout the system. In fact, about 40% of the um, red line is all slow zones now, which means that whereas it should, the train should be moving at about 55 miles per hour, it's moving at sometimes 15, 25, or 35 miles an hour. That's the biggest reason we need to get this done. As I stop you know, on the 95th stop, and I usually get like a ride back you know, to where I need to be. But you know, with these things happening, it's gonna, you know, like force me to, you know, take other alternatives, like, you know, possibly like a metro ride. And those things are like five dollars for a room, a one way, so. We're going to offer uh, seven total shuttle buses, all of which will be free. Four of them emanate from closed red line stations, uh, 69th, 79th, 87th, and 95th Streets. Those shuttle buses will go to 4 a.m. and 1 a.m. They're gonna go from those stations directly to the Garfield Green Line station and back. Based upon, you know, what's going on with the current situation, they're saying that, you know, they're gonna have, you know, more shuttle bu buses available. But all that's gonna do is, like, cause, you know, conflicts, because it's bad enough that you have to wait for a train. You're probably gonna be, be delayed, like, an extra 10, 15 minutes. And then, you know, these trains, I mean, these uh, buses, pardon me, aren't gonna be able to, you know, um, seat all of these people. So it's gonna be crowded and everything. 